Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. My name is Dr. Ahmed, I'm from Sudan, and welcome to Doses Pathology Review, in which we're going to discuss various topics in pathology. So, in this video, I want to give you a brief introduction about pathology, and then I want to give you an idea about how things will be in this channel. So, first of all, what is pathology? The word pathology literally means studying of diseases and it is divided into general pathology and systemic pathology. In general pathology, we're going to describe the changes and alterations that happen at the level of cells, and we're going to discuss topics like cellular injury, inflammation, and similar topics. On the other hand, systemic pathology examines the abnormalities that affect the multiple organ systems, so we will talk about things like cardiovascular pathology, gastrointestinal pathology, and so on. And understanding general pathology is vital for understanding systemic pathology. That's why we're going to start with general pathology first. But before we move on, there are two important terms that we have to be familiar with. And these terms are etiology and pathogenesis. So first, what is etiology? Etiology is the origin of a disease, including the associated causes and modifying factors. So, etiology answers the question, why does a disease develop? On the other hand, pathogenesis refers to the multiple steps that are involved in causing a disease. So, it answers the question, how does a disease arise? So, my understanding why does a disease develop and how does it arise? You will come to understand why is this patient presenting with these signs and symptoms and you will understand why is this patient given this sort of treatment. So pathology lies at the heart of medicine and that's why people say pathology is medicine. From my experience, I noticed that it's really hard to concentrate and maintain your attention span for a long period of time. So I'll try my best to make videos that are short, informative, and straight to the point. And it has been proven by research that the best way to consolidate your knowledge is by answering questions. So after the end of each topic, we're going to answer questions. And it doesn't actually matter whether you get these questions right or wrong. The most important thing is that you have to understand why the why the right why the right option is right and why the wrong option is wrong. To be honest with you, this is going to be a long journey, but hopefully it's going to be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to teaching you and to learning from you. I hope you all the best and good luck.